where the track used to go, but there is no track anymore. You can see down here, nothing left of the Carlingford line. Nothing. I'll see when we get further down again. This is what is left of Tilopia Station. We are standing on the platform of Tilopia. No more tracks. Cuts off there. This is what's left of Tilopia. Crossing over the old tracks that used to go over here. That's a look down there. Yep, Tilopia Station. Still at Tilopia. Hello, we are now at Dundas Station. This is probably the most complete station with the station buildings still here and the signs. I thought Tilopia was the best we'll be able to find but Dundas still got all the little dots there. It's got where there was a crossing there. So cool. Dundas. Station there. Station buildings are still here. Cool. Yep, that's Dundas platform here at Dundas. You can tell it was quite short because um, on the Carlingford line they only had four car trains, M sets and some sill set. But um, yeah, look at the platform at Dundas. Um, it's amazing that this is still intact at Dundas. Yeah, this is um, the old crossing here where people would have been able to cross. That's where the track would have headed off to. The Carlingford line was one track, so there would only be one train a day. They will just go back and forth and back and forth. And yeah, Dundas Station. I can't believe that all the stuff is still here, like the station building, even the signs. At Tilopia, there was no signs. But this is like proper, still intact. Yeah, that's Dundas Station. It's right on here, station. Sorry for the loud cars, we're right next to a very big road. But this is right on this station down there. Or at least what's left of it. So yeah, Parramatta Light Rail will be going here, doing work on it. There's a water truck getting filled up. Anyway, the next station I'm pretty sure is Rose Hill. The next station is actually Camellia, which we forgot to go to. But looking at some pictures and videos, it looks like Camellia is pretty much the same as Rydalcurse, which isn't much, so yeah. They will be forever, probably, I'm guessing. Yeah. Rose Hill Station. Here at Rose Hill, you can see how wide the platform is down there. That's so uh, when the race finishes, there's a lot of space for people to wait for the train. So it's very, very, very wide. As you can see down there at Rose Hill. Quick fun fact, Rose Hill is the only station on the Carlingford line with two platforms and there is a lot of leads down here. Yeah, only two platform station on the entire Carlingford line. And by the time we're recording this, you can still come down here. So yeah, Rose Hill Station, the next station is Clyde. Just past Rose Hill there is what I'm what I think is the last remaining tracks with some sleepers on it. Pretty cool. Just down there is where we just were. We're just about to 
on, we're on the Bold Street Bridge at the moment where the Granville rail disaster happened around 50 years ago. Uh, around 50 years ago, a um, train was on the tracks down there. It derailed and knocking out the support to this bridge and then it collapsed on the train. It has been rebuilt since then and is still used. Today. This is the Parramatta Road rail crossing, completely gone. Nothing this is it. where the Carlingford line goes to Clyde. These tracks, the tracks are still here but there's no overhead power lines. Curves to Carl, I mean Clyde, not Carl. This is what, this is at Clyde, the last stop on the Carlingford line. Down there you can see the tracks with the overhead wiring still there. And that's the last stop of the calling for mine as a B set departs Clyde. So yeah, thanks for watching of what's left of the calling I mean calling for line in September 2020.